Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ying and Steven from Pytus Energy. Today, we will introduce you how to connect and debug the inverter with our batteries. What we're going to introduce first? So, firstly, we will introduce you some cables, and we have five different cables here. <coughs> the first is the power cable between the batteries. So the method is to connect the positive and the negative poles to one of the other. So positive to positive and the negative to negative. The second is the power connection cables between batteries and the inverters. So the positive and the negative of the battery will be connected to the inverter by this power cable. So the third is the communication cable between the batteries. So it is used for connecting the link port one of the battery to the link port zero of the other battery. So after connection of multiple batteries are completed, the link port one are occupied and the link port zero of the host battery is idle and it will be connected to the inverter. Well, the fourth is the communication cables between battery and the inverter. So there are two different options of communication protocol between battery and the inverters. So they are RS485 and the CAN. So the required communication line sequence will be different upon communication method, model, and brand of the inverters. Well, pay attention, it is to connect the host battery with the inverter. So this is the RS485 port of the battery and this is the CAM port of the battery. Select the right one for your case. So the fifth is the ground wire which is connected to the battery case to avoid accidents. 